first up in our fantastic Miami food travels was Killer Melts. Originally, when I did the extensive research about all the places located next to our Airbnb, I stumbled upon this place and said, man, we got to go to this place because I love grilled cheese. And uh, me and Candice were the only two that went to Killer Melts uh, because the entire crew wasn't there as of yet. But can I just say this decor is amazing um you guys don't even get to notice it but like there's cheese graters everywhere uh they have these great sayings on the walls um the, each of the grilled cheeses are um, amazing uh, just amazing flavors and amazing things put together and not to mention <laughs> The decor with the lighting was even dope. Uh, we took our grilled cheese back to the Airbnb. This is the hit man. We're talking bacon. We're talking mac and cheese. We're talking grilled cheese. They took like hunks of mac and cheese and bacon and they grilled it on a grilled cheese and i was losing it at this point i was also very upset because i had got sunny in another box we we're trying to get the rest of cereal squad that's a whole nother adventure um yeah and you know at this point i i had already devoured <laughs> one one of my slices uh yeah I, I didn't even it was so massive i didn't even realize it was two slices at first because i kind of just bit into both of them um and then it was like oh wait there's two slices <laughs> uh yeah definitely go to killer melts if you're in uh that part of miami um the address is going to come across the screen um and yeah it's it's amazing definitely worth going to if you want good grilled cheese school on over to sunday um while we were in the grilled cheese place killer melts on saturday that guy that you just seen crd the man behind the beat that you're listening to he was in taco rico getting mango margaritas so we came back once we got the rest of the squad uh there's logic you know my main man the man that makes everything logical with the logic facts uh but yeah we got some mango margaritas he got a regular frozen margarita he got some tacos i got uh, i think like chicken tacos and like uh i got a chicken taco uh, and two uh beef tacos um coming up is uh, my best friend candace she also got a mar- mango margarita she wasn't really feeling the camera life um but yeah yeah, we had some fun. And at this point, we were looking for our other member of the crew. And these margaritas were amazing. Then we ran into the other member of the crew. She finally arrived uh, back at the store. I have to go get some uh, bucks of star. There she is, Jasmine. She's also a uh, vlogger. And we'll have some more stuff with her uh, coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm wearing my turtle shirt. And we're heading back to the Airbnb. So we're back at the Airbnb. Um, and let me just say, number one, these tacos. Look at these tacos, man. These tacos look amazing. They taste as good as they look. I devoured these tacos. That's a little bit of taco vision for you. Uh, let me do a little margarita vision. Uh, the margaritas are so good i mean i can't i i i can't express it anymore uh there's a little randy vision for you uh but yeah this is me enjoying that taco i believe i was eating a chicken one at that time it was amazing i don't think i need to say anything more about taco rico the address is coming back across the screen go well Day three, we were in Little Havana. Oh my goodness, we went to Old Havana. Um, let me just tell you, I love Cuban sandwiches, so I had to go to Old Havana and get me an authentic Cuban sandwich. At this point, I'm giving the rundown of Cuban sandwiches and all that good stuff. Uh, check out the fit, by the way. The shirts I was wearing was amazing. Um, we've got we, we stuck with a theme here. We got mango mojitos 
and uh, mango. I think the girls got mango daiquiris. So we stuck with a little theme and we got a little mango theme going on. And let me just say, that Cuban sandwich was amazing. In fact, uh, right now at this point, we don't even have our sandwiches yet. But the decor of this place, also amazing. Um, those girls got mango daiquiris. Uh, we were just commenting on how Candace's daiquiri matches her outfit. Um, but yeah, uh, coming up is a picture of my uh, mango mojito and a picture of my fantastic Cuban. Next up, I didn't get a lot of footage at Azuka, but yeah, yeah, we got some, we got some good stuff. Went to Azuka uh, after Little Havana, uh, after Old Havana in Little Havana uh, to get some <laughs> dessert. Um, and yeah, they have so many flavors uh, <laughs> that they literally can just pick and choose what flavors they want to have. On any particular day, that's how many flavor ideas they have and how many flavor combinations. It's amazing. Just go. Day four of our Miami food journey. This is the Peace de Resistance. This was the big one for me because I said I wanted to make sure that we went to a black owned business and we went to two of them but the first of the two was the house of mac house of mac is amazing uh let me just tell you we had just came from doing an amazing airboat ride and for us to do that amazing airboat ride and end up at the house of mac <laughs> you just don't know. You just don't know. Um, let's get inside. Uh, the decor of the House of Mac is an ode to music and just black excellence. Um, we stuck with the theme of the mango theme because we did mango lemonades across the board. The girls had blueberry lemonades, but the, but the, the guys we stuck with a the theme. We stuck with the mango lemonade. Um, this is the Philly cheesesteak mac and cheese, and when I tell you, when I tell you, you have no idea how great this mac and cheese was. Like, you have no idea. Um, just, oh, just amazing. Look at the cheese. Just everything tasted great. The staff was great. The music was great. Everything felt great. And let's not even talk about... Look, 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 look at this Black Boy Joy. Black Boy Joy, I'm dancing to music. And then I taste this. Look at the cheese bowl. Look at the cheese bowl. That's all I got to say. Look at the cheese bowl, everybody. House of Mac. Address on the screen now. All right. The last stop on our food adventure was the second of the two black-owned restaurants. This one is I Crave. Me and the fellas and the ladies, we stopped by I Crave right after we went to the Wynwood Walls Museum. Um, I Crave fantastic stuff that they do for the community uh, they get back to community hire people from the community and uh, we had a journey of chicken and waffles look at this fantastic thing I got right here got cinnamon toast crunch you know I love cinnamon toast crunch they got refills on their lemonade y'all y'all can get the lemonade and then you can take the other refill out after you're done address on the screen 